Hey there crafty friends, it's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm still showing some hauls that I recently got and I'm breaking them up into smaller, uh, more manageable hauls so you don't have to sit here all day if it's not things that you're interested in. Um, but I'm trying to sort of categorize them. So my next haul came, came from Allie and it's only part of the haul because like I said, I'm going to break it up into categories. But one of the things I picked up in this one is I picked these little treat containers. They're little, almost look like lollipops sort of. Now these are so much bigger than I thought they were going to be. Isn't that funny how Allie stuff comes and you're always surprised by the size? It's rarely do I say it's bigger. Most of the time it's like, oh wow, that's tiny. But these were much bigger than I thought they were going to be. But, you know, they're still totally usable because I think they'd be really cute to share beads um, and sequin mix. Of course, that's very big though. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's pretty big for a sequin mix. But, I mean, if you want to send a big sequin mix, these are awesome for that. Now, I went ahead and sort of made an example of something that you could send. And I put beads in the little handle. And then I put a sequin mix inside. Now, I had this taped because I was so afraid I would drop this. And because, it's, like I said, it's a lot of sequin mix in there. I didn't want it going everywhere. So, let me see if I can get that up here for you guys to see sort of a springy mix that I had made for all my screen crafting. Now I picked these up in the pink, the purple, and the white. Um, they have this little thing that comes off. And at first, now on the other ones I've received in the past, it was a complete ring and it slid over and it kept the pieces together. But this one is not like that. It just sort of snaps on. So your piece will still come off like that. They come completely apart. This is a very good size well here. So like I said, you can put some pretty decent size uh, beads in there. Probably, oh heck, I don't know. I think mine were 16 millimeter maybe. I don't know. But anyway, there it's a very decent size. You can put a lot of cute things in there. So um, I picked up, I believe they come in sets of six. I picked up uh, 12 of each so that I would have these for swaps and for Happy Mail. So I picked those up. And then I picked up from a store, um, they had so many of these and they're so cute. Now I picked up a bundle, I believe it was a package of six. And um, these are the six that came and these are the other ones I bought individually. And these are just flat back pearls, they're AB pearls. And they're in six different sizes. And I think it's pretty awesome that they come in these cases for you. You can see, let me get that up there for you. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know if we're focusing. There we go. You can see how pretty they are. Again, really pretty. Really, 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 really pretty. So I picked that up. And this set came with the baby blue. The really pretty pink. A lilac, which is really gorgeous. And these are all very nice quality, by the way. Um, another baby blue, but it's different. Can you see the difference? This one's more baby blue. This one's probably more um, aqua. So this one's like a true, true baby blue. So if you're trying to do literal baby projects, this one would probably be your best bet. A mint green. Very nice, very nice. Love the mint green. And then, of course, a white. But I did love that they were all um, in these little containers. Super quick and easy to grab. They're already separated for you. Love that. Um, so, I did also pick up this little set. And it has hearts. And they're all different colors. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. We've got a mint. Sort of a... Oh, I don't know what I would call that. An aqua, maybe. A lilac, a baby blue, a peach. And I don't know. That's almost a different kind of peach. Super cute. They are tiny. When I say tiny, I mean tiny. They're like nail art tiny. But they'll be great for a lot of different projects. And then these are hearts here. And then two different sizes of flowers. And these are microscopic. Itty bitty, teeny weeny. You don't want to lose those microscopic, like tiny. Sorry. Let's see. 
You see what I'm saying? They're tiny. Like, I have very small hands. I think I just dropped one. See, I'm telling you, you don't want it. Oh, yeah, it's on my hand. See? And I say tiny, like, if you drop it, you'll probably never find it again. <laughs> again. Oh, Lord. And then I picked up the um, pearls and the silver and the gold. I use a lot of gold, and I have a, um, a set that has a big set that has multi sizes in it, but I still picked these up because I know that I will use them. Then I wanted to go ahead and share with you these two little jelly bags that I picked up. These are adorable. This one is, well, the pink one is bigger and it has the flowers. And then this mint one, or I think it was called Tiffany Blue. I don't think it was called mint. But uh, it, it's a little bit smaller. Not a lot. Just, just, just barely. Like, just barely. I know you can't see that. But um, I did pick up, I, I believe it comes six of each. Uh, and I don't think I got these from the same store, but I will link them. Or if you want the link, just let me know and I'll send you the link. But um, this one's pretty plain. But I thought these would be great for swaps. For packaging up swaps uh and and generally they're just cute anyway i can't wait to use these so and it reminds me of the little ones that i had got from jersey secret stash these are the tiny ones so um i thought too i would share with you guys i posted on instagram that i had uh done a little bead wrapping uh one day I did a lot of flowers and then I decided I was going to do some bead wrapping. And the reason I did the bead wrapping is because it's not that I didn't know how to bead wrap, but I do struggle with it. But I recently watched a video, I believe, from the Curious Trinket. And she shared what she called the curly bum <laughs> bead wrap. And um, she said it wasn't originally her idea. She had gotten it from um, another YouTuber and she linked that. So, But I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys. Literally, I did this. I did an entire container of gold finished ones and an entire container of um, silver finished ones. And I did them while I was watching television and just sort of mindlessly because it's so stinking easy. Um, these are so, these, I have so many beautiful beads. And I like to do the uh, little dangles, but I hate to stop and do the wrap. So I thought, you know what, if I have a bunch of them ready to go, then I'll probably make more dangles. And so literally I know there is probably together in these two containers, there's probably at least 250 uh, wrapped beads. And some of them I did, you know, like not just individual beads. I actually uh, layered them. Some of them I did super plain. Some of them I embellished a little more. Um, some of them I gave double end caps. It kind of just depends on what mood I'm in as to what I'm going to want to use. But I did uh, several of these. So that I would have them ready to go when I wanted to put them on a project. And I, like I said, I had so many pretty beads. I, I buy beads all the time and I love them. Uh, and I wanted to really showcase them. So I went ahead and wrapped those. And then I wrapped some in the silver. And the ones in the silver are just as pretty. Absolutely stunning. And this bead wrapping technique is so easy and so fast. So much easier than the bead wrapping I was doing before. Years ago, I used to make jewelry. And so I was using the bead wrapping that I would use if I were you know, back then making jewelry, uh, making a necklace or something, and it's very time consuming. This is so much quicker. And when you get these on a dangle and you've got clusters of them, trust me, you'll be thankful that you're able to whip them out this fast. Like how pretty are these guys? I love them. I love all the colors that's in here. Um, and I try to do, you know, tiny ones. I try to do bigger ones. Um, I tried to go pretty simple on some. And get a little more fancy with others, you know. Um, but just depending on what mood I was in, depending on your turn, you know, which, what I'm going to grab. So, anyway, I thought I would share these with you guys and say, if you, and I'll link the Curious Trinkets video because it was very helpful uh, in the bead wrapping process. I'd never thought to do bead wrapping that particular way. And um, it really did help crank these out. So, I thought I would share that with you guys. So I've got some more haul videos coming for you. I'm trying to get everything split up into categories. But until the next video, happy crafting, everybody.